वेलकम टू द चैप्टर क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया क्लिक ईच टैप टू नो मोर लेट इज नाउ लर्न अबाउट ईच ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स इन ब्रीफ लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ लैटिट्यूड और डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर The Earth is divided into the following regions based on their distance from the equator. Tropical, close to the equator. Polar, close to the poles. And temperate, places in between these two extremes. The temperature decreases as we go away from the equator. The temperature of the atmosphere at a particular place on the earth depends on the insulation that is heat from sun rays received there. Intensity of insulation is more in the equatorial region than the polar region. The reason for this is the angle of incidence is 90 degrees at equator and thus causes high temperatures and the angle of incidence changes as we go away from equator to poles the average annual temperature of a place decreases as we go away from equator towards the poles india is situated roughly between 8 degrees to 37 degrees north latitudes it is divided into two equal parts by the tropic of cancer the southern part of india lies in the tropical belt closer to the equator it has the temperate zone for example the climate of kanyakumari is completely different from that of bhopal or delhi now let us know about the land and water relationship with respect to the climate of a place the nature of the surface determines the amount of and loses heat slowly this affects climate in many ways the influence of the sea is moderate on southern india which has a long coastline there is not much difference in the day and night temperatures and in summer and winter as well this is called equable climate now let us learn about another factor that is relief The temperature decreases as altitude increases. As a result, hills and mountains will have lower temperature than the plains. In this way, the climate of a particular Nainital, Gulmarg and Darjeeling have a cool climate even in severe summer. Similarly, certain regions in south like Udagamandalam, Uti and Kodai Kenal are cool when compared to the regions near the coast. Now let us know about another factor influencing climate that is the upper air circulation This subtropical high pressure belt of the northern hemisphere gives rise to permanent winds These winds are called trade winds trade means track and blow towards the equatorial low pressure region reflecting towards west India is located in the belt of dry northeast trade winds India's climate is also affected by the movement of upper air currents called jet streams atmosphere and causes rain in the east jet streams develop at about 25 degrees north 